。對於現正發育嘅小朋友嚟講咧，有足夠同埋均衡嘅營養係相當重要。如果飲食唔均衡嘅話，除咗會影響到學習嘅專注力，亦都會影響到身體嘅免疫系統嘅。咁隨住九月份開學，家長可以準備啲乜嘢又健康又簡單嘅午餐，又或者係零食去俾小朋友呢？而成長中嘅孩童究竟又需要吸取一啲乜嘢嘅營養？我哋今晚咧就請嚟咗註冊營養師同我哋講解一下。註冊營養師 Beth Nelson 表示：，咁對於兒童足夠嘅營養，除咗有利於身體成長發育，咁對於學習發展亦都尤其重要。Time to keep their energy up, um, to keep their blood sugar stable, which keeps their energy stable.、Um, for concentration at school too, we want them to be focused, we want them to be learning, and so good nutrition helps with that. 佢表示，蛋白質、纖維、維他命 D。钙、omega 三、铁质同卡路里，对于儿童成长嚟讲系必须嘅营养素。咁喺为儿童准备零食嘅时候，可以选择以下嘅健康食品配搭。We're looking at calcium and and bone health nutrients, things like yogurt, um, yogurt parfaits, cottage cheese, cheeses. Whether you're having that with like whole grain crackers or just like on the side, um. And then when we look at our protein and our fiber, we can look at things like our fruits, our veggies.、Um, again, tons of different types of veggies you can be having with dips to add the protein. So, for example, you have like carrots or celery. You're going to have a nut butter with them or hummus with them. 佢表示，无需每日特别为孩子准备全新嘅午餐。咁只要前一晚嘅晚餐营养均衡，就可以预留一啲用作听日嘅午餐。There go with a bunch of snacks, like I just mentioned. So, using a lot of those to kind of prepare a meal. Or going with leftovers.、So、you're having a good combination of proteins,、um, fiber, like our fruits and veggies, probably veggies at dinner,、um, and、uh, and some sort of like high fiber carbohydrate. 而对于比较挑食嘅儿童 ，Nelson 就建议可以让儿童参与准备午餐同零食嘅过程，喺不同嘅健康食品中，让佢哋自由选择，能够增进进食嘅欲望。好啦，今晚嘅健康原理就讲到呢一度。